our very reputable speaker tonight. Sharon is the founder of Persuasive Presentations. It's all about trying to sell yourself and sell your vision. People buy from people that they like, know and trust. Be open and likeable. When we're pitching, we're generally pitching an opportunity. It's an opportunity, it's a gap, it's the market. With pitching, I look at these three things. I look at what is the problem that they're solving. Is there a market for this product? Because if there's no market, there is no business to be had. The idea is what's your solution to fit that problem? And the last thing is, who are you? Why should I trust you? We need a minimum of four pitches. The four pitches we need are the 10 second grab. Then you need your elevator pitch. Then you need a 10 minute pitch, or it could then be the 45 minute presentation when you go into masses of depth and detail about your business. Good speakers aren't born that way. Good speakers are that way because they've done it a lot. The first thing that I recommend is not positive thinking, but realistic thinking. Confidence or nerves, if you like, are a bit like an iceberg. You feel that whole iceberg, but the audience can only see the little bit floating on top. If we stand like this, we're gonna feel more nervous than if we do a strong pose. There's also a lot of research around deep breathing. Deep breathing helps calm our nerves. And the last thing, of course, is do it. We're all very different. We all have different triggers that make us feel less or more confident. So find out what your triggers are for lack of confidence and start mitigating those as well. Here's the thing, they're not gonna do this. They're not gonna give you the money, they're not gonna give you the job, unless they feel comfortable that you can deliver on that. Talk about how your experience is a good fit and your culture is a good fit. And this is particularly important. It's all about the audience and what they want. So you talk about them and their problems and what their needs are. The only way that you can sell something is to find out what they need and fit that gap. Because if you can't fit that gap, you can't sell. You need to start networking now. You need to build your network before you need it. Clarity is king. You want to have a grab at the start. You want to talk about the problem, how you'll solve it, chunk everything into three main topics if you can, and then come down to a conclusion, a call to action. What does he want them to do? What does he want them to remember? People will judge you in three seconds. When I say they'll judge you, they will ask themselves, do I feel comfortable around this person? Do I feel safe? But I said, there's five things I want you to do to create a great first impression. The first thing is smile and change their psychology just by smiling at them. So smile, eye contact, stand up, cross the room and shake their hands. Okay, I'm over 50 now, folks, and I unfortunately have now got resting bitch face. <laughs> so smile at people, eye contact, because that shows that you're confident and it's respectful. Stand up, same thing, respectful, cross the room, because that makes you look as though you're proactive and shake people's hands. 10 seconds before people go, oh, great presentation or crappy presentation. That's where the first things you say is really important. Or that 10 seconds when someone first meets you and they say, what do you do? You just don't go, oh, I'm just a student. Find a grab. For your personal grab, three things. Name, who you are and what you're doing, but then something you're passionate about. So for example, I met an accountant. She said, oh, I'm just an accountant. And I changed her grab to, I'm an account accountant with H&R Block and I'm a tax ninja. I can take that box of receipts from under your bed, process it within five working days and get it a tax return in your account. Just last week, I got a client an extra thousand dollars they weren't expecting. Now that's someone I want to talk to. Tension is your grab and you've got 10 seconds. The interesting thing is, is that people buy on emotion and justify their purchase with logic. So every successful entrepreneur that I've worked with has had their personal story, the trigger that brought this about. So stories make us likable, stories make stuff stick, and stories make us more persuasive. We need to amplify ourselves to show our best shiny side, if that makes sense, but still be you. And all the good speakers you know are good because they've just done a lot of it.